because we, we're out here outside the president's suite. And yes, Bruce, there it is behind us. You've gotten out to a lot of places. Caves Valley, the President's Suite here. You're having a heck of a week, aren't you? Yeah, it's a great week. It's a great week to be from Baltimore, to be from Maryland, and great week for this game coming up. Canceled all my golf this weekend. I'm dedicated to this game, the post game. I can't wait for it. And uh, West Virginia is always special. And I hark it back to a few years back when my good friend Blake Smith uh, took me up to West Virginia to see Maryland play West Virginia. And their quarterback was Geno... Geno Smith. Geno Smith, the first right. First pick of the Jets. And Geno Smith, I'll never forget when Maryland came running up, running out on the field. He was jumping up and down and making fun of us. Yeah. I couldn't believe that a guy who was going to be a pro would do that. And he had a great game. They beat us pretty bad except for one thing. Stefan Diggs put on a show. Yeah. He had a kickoff return for a touchdown. He had an 80-yard pass for a touchdown. Bruce, that must have been six, eight years ago. Has it been that long? It has. That's the, the when you had to go up a thousand steps. Right. That's when. <laughs> that's when the, on the next Monday after yeah. climbing a thousand steps, yeah. I was wondering if I'd ever recover. It was that tough. So my trips to West Virginia is that are over. But I will tell you this: when you're in West Virginia, the game ends, and they play Country Roads. Yeah. The hairs rise on your neck. All so right. a couple of years ago in the Edsel era, Maryland lost this one too. Uh, we got there and they go to play Take Me Home Country Roads and I take a video and I believe it was Randy Travis and that's one of the most watched videos on all of Tur Talks history. Really? They sang, yeah, and then he they sang, sang it that day? Yeah. That was after the game or before? Before the game. They did the national anthem and Take Me Home Country Roads is a heck of a heck of a thing, but give them credit. It's great fans. They'll be down here all mass. Yep. And uh, it'll look like 50-50 probably? Probably. I don't right. actually expect to sell out. People are still a little COVID antsy around here, and they probably should be. Right. Uh, but playing West Virginia again, uh, it's one of the first Maryland games that I went to. Played West Virginia. I remember the Jeff Hostetler years. The uh, I remember the Scott McBrien years, man, and I loved them. I loved those games. He beat them to death. And uh, the one in Jacksonville, I was just talking to Steve Suter about it. Uh what a great voice we have on the 105.7 now to do the games. And 980 in D.C. Right, on the network. And, uh, well, can't wait. I don't know what to say. Can't wait for the game. And uh, we've been waiting to be here for two years now. Yep, and this is our first, like, video Turp Talk on a Tuesday that we've done in a couple of years. So, hey, everybody, thanks for watching. Thanks for those multi-million minutes of views on Turp Talk. And remember to catch us now on 1300 The Bet. In Baltimore, we have Turp Talk Wednesday nights. We have uh, still have the Sports Maven Saturday at 9 a.m. And then on our other outlet, WNST, Baltimore Positive. We're on Monday morning at 8 a.m. with a Ravens recap, a Maryland recap. But I'll be honest, it's really Ravens NFL oriented. All my other stuff is really uh, Turp oriented. But uh, we got uh, Carl Science on the show. We'll have Barry Levinson on it. And uh, it's going to be a great season for the for the Ravens, except without J.K. Dobbins, which still sickens my heart. Hey, how did your Redskins team do against us the other night? Uh, against your starters? Yeah. Not not too good. <laughs> you know, Washington football team, but you paid the price. We paid the price dearly. What a disaster. Uh, losing J.K. Dobbins. What we a will see you on the radio and then back here in College Park after the game on Saturday.